Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to um, do another tutorial. Um, the next tutorial is going to be um, how I upload and, well, how I record and upload to YouTube. Um, so the, the, the processes that I go through when doing a YouTube video include recording, or they go through like this, recording, editing, rendering, no, wait a minute, no, it goes, scrap that, recording, rendering, uploading, descripting stuff, like putting the description in, putting the title in, doing tags, doing thumbnails, um, using Photoshop, I'll show you that in a sec, and then I'll, I'll do the editing if I have to. Now, um, today I'm just going to take you through like a 10 to 15 minute video, I'm showing you how, to, how I upload to YouTube. So today, um, the first thing I do is I when I upload to YouTube, I use a, a software called Open Broadcaster Software, OBS for short. I use the new one, OBS Studio. Um, you can also get um, OBS um, Classic. I don't know why you would do that. It's like getting, um, I was going to say it's like getting Coca-Cola Classic instead of Diet Coke, but that, that, that doesn't make sense, does it? Um, it's just, um, so... What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you all my settings so you guys can copy them. Um, uh, there is one setting I want to talk to you about, um, no, uh, but we'll get onto that in a sec. So I have six scenes. These scenes are different things that you can use for different games if, if they have different settings. But I just like to put down every game so I know I have a setting for that game. And I, pretty much every game I use has display capture. Um, here, display capture, that lets you capture the 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 screen uh, but some games like my summer car can require game capture that's why it's black because I'm not got the game open if I was to load up my summer car just now um, I'll let that load because um, I'm not open steam yet I'll let that load in a sec um, while we're doing that I'm going to show you my settings folder and uh, not my settings folder not my settings folder I meant to show you settings so you go to settings down here um, so what I've got at set uh, is language English because I am English if I was um, Spanish or if I was French or whatever, I would say is that. Theme, I've got a default. You can change it to like dark and stuff like that, but I, I kind of prefer it to be default. I mean, I'm not really too bothered about it because I can use it anyway. Um, Automatic check for updates. Uh, nothing here. All of this is on tech. So yeah, let me, let me quickly show you this. So if you were to go to My Summer Car, and if I just cancel that just now, it shows My Summer Car. But if I would see, see there how it says it's got My Summer Car, but nothing else. And it's not showing the background of, like, my desktop of what I'm doing just now. So I could go to a browser, get up a guide when I'm building My Summer Car. If you watch the My Summer Car series, you'll know what I mean. But you can also do other things while you're not. So you can keep the game open, which viewers can see. But you can you can um, go on other things when they ca for yourself privately, if that makes sense. Um, what I've got down here, so yeah, that's all that. I can just close that just now. Um, what I've got down here is Euro Truck, Farm Sim, America Truck, Train Sim World, My Summer Car, and Tutorial, which is this um, episode, this, this um, series. Um, so down here, it gives you like live, um, this is what I like about OBS, um, it gives you like a recording, how long you've been recording for, how much CPU usage. It's not that much CPU usage, it depends how, how good computer you've got. Like, I mean, if I go to my specs right now, I'll show you my specs. Um, no, not about Java, not about Java. I want about my PC. So you see here how I've got like I've got like an 88k quad core processor. It's not the best, but it's it'll do 8 gig of RAM, 64 bit operating system as usual. But if then if uh, I've also got a GTX 1050 graphics card, if you don't know, so it's quite good. Close that. Um, this here is the mixer, so you can set different volumes and stuff. It's a really good software. This is awesome. So I've got the desktop at minus 25 decibels because if I put it down to here, the the game audio will go above my mic and you'll hardly be able to hear me. I think there was like one or two videos last week that had a little bit loud audio in the game and not loud enough in the mic. Um, so I've got it pretty close to the right setting. I think I need to put it um, back, back this way a little bit. Um, also, you have the option to go to studio mode so you can do like transitions, cutaways and stuff like that if you want to pause the video. 
this is the, the good thing about what OBS lets you do. I'm not sure about like Bandicam and X Split and stuff. I know Shadow Play doesn't have this, but it allows you to cut away. Um, so you can just press like Alt C. I've got it set as Alt C, um, Alt and C on the keyboard. Um, to so if I want to cut away and you guys not see it, um, then I can cut away. Like for example, if I'm doing like a field on farming sim, or if I'm, I don't know what else. What else would it be? I don't know, something like mm, my summer car driving to the shop maybe. So so um I've got lots of settings for OBS. Um it's just it's just um I'll I'll cycle through them. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Um stream I don't I don't stream at all. Um my internet's too rubbish to stream. Um output um I'm not, I don't stream so I don't touch these settings whatsoever. Um it's only really the recording settings I touch. Um I've got on ten thousand bit rate, I've got on C B R Guys, if if you guys know any settings that I put wrong here, let me know in the comment section. Cause um, if you guys watch this this series, then it can improve um the mic audio or the video quality or whatever. Obviously, I'm not gonna put on like twenty thousand bit rate, cause that's gonna take two two times longer. Um, audio um again, you can just pause it to, if you want to see it. Um, I'll leave it on on for another couple of seconds if you want to pause the video. Um, video, I've got this set as video output is currently active. Please turn off any outputs. Yeah, because I'm recording a video, that's why. Um, um, base canvas resolution, so this is what I'm using just now. So what I'm recording, at, uh, what I'm looking into right now, which is 1920 to 1080, which is my monitor. Um, output scale, so that's um, what it outputs to, the video outputs to. Outputs to. It's 1920 by 1080, so 1080p again. Um, by cubic 16 samples and FPS dead FPS. Um, hotkeys, I got some hotkeys. Um, um, I'm pretty certain you can. I don't need to go through this. Um, I'm pretty certain you know what it is. Um, now, um, where was it? Was ah, oh, where was it? The the one that had ah, oh, that's so annoying. Hmm. Ah, dang it. There was one setting that had that. It was wrong. Oh yeah, here, guys. If you want, here. If you have problems like jumpy audio, a uh, jumpy video, or video freezing, keeping on going and jumping around and lagging and frame rate and stuff like that, change the encoder to the N N V E N C. That's what I had to do. Just just change the encoder every time to see if you can do it. That's what I had to do. So so we got recording out the way what do i use to render you probably notice it on my desktop right now um what do i use to render i use something called handbrake now handbrake is this render renderer ugh, probably the best best renderer out there if for free anyway i do everything for free apart from photoshop and um, so i recorded a video earlier on today was it this one was it that one this one so I recorded this video today, a 22 second video, um, um, everything seems fine, you have to check here to make sure it's at 1080, 0 all the way, otherwise you get this little black line in between your videos and stuff, it's really strange. Um, you don't have to change any of uh, video, you can change stuff if you like, you can change this to 60 FPS, whatever. Audio, uh, you now, now guys, if you don't change the codec to MP3 and the bit rate to 192, you're going to get this very, very weird audio in your videos. Like, you're going to get this weird <coughs> noise in between. It's really, really strange. Um, so I'm just going to call this tutorial test. Tutorial test. And what you do here is you start encoding it. Um, this should take no long. So what we're doing while we're waiting for that to encode, I'm going to show you that video, just so you know what it is. I'll probably embarrass myself to death. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. This is just a test recording. This is just a test recording. I don't know why I'm acting like a cheerleader. I have no idea why I'm doing this. Why, why am I making this video again? Oh yeah, for tutorial. Ah, right. So there you go. That's, that's, that's the video I just rendered. Now, it's finished now. 22 seconds. That was quite fast. Obviously, a real video. Like... Normally my videos lie between 25 and 45 minutes long, sometimes a bit longer, sometimes a bit shorter, depending. Like this video will be a bit shorter. Um, 
So that's what I've done. I've just rendered that video. And um, this 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 puts your CPU to between 95 and 100 percent. So you pretty much won't be able to do anything else, uh, close to anything else. If you've got a fast PC like mine, lol, and um, you can probably play another game at the same time. Um, so what we're going to do now, now that that's rendered, if you if you go to your documents, um, if I just go documents here, um, I can go to uh, videos, and you'll see here it has tutorial tests. So that should be rendered. If you look at our old video, now what does rendering do? I hear you ask. It scales. It pushes down the the pixels or or something. It pushes down something to in the video to make it a little bit less. I would say a little bit less um, on the memory side, so it uploads to YouTube faster. So before it was 26.9 megabytes, and now it is 1.91 megabytes. Now, guys, that is like 24 times faster, roughly. Can you imagine if you were to upload that to YouTube, how long that would take? Well, it would take you like five minutes with that video. It, probably two minutes with that video. But, I mean, like a normal video. My normal videos do not go 24 times um, less memory. The more the video, the the less times it renders down. So the less it renders down, pretty much. So maybe a 30 minutes video will render down three times, a third, two thirds of the way down. But like maybe an hour video will go like maybe three fifths. So it's a bit smaller each time, if if you know what I mean. As you go up, that probably made no sense. So the final thing I do, the final no, 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 the final thing I do is I, what I do is I go to YouTube, and I will um, upload. I will upload, and I will select files to upload, and I will go to that video that I had, which was the tutorial test. I will start uploading that. This will take no time. Because it's um, my and it's actually quite fast. I'll show you my speed test just now. I, I want to know my speed test. Just, just I want to know what my speed test is. I'll, I'll show you guys what it is. Oh no, speedtest.net, not speedtest.com. Duh. Go. I want to show you guys my, my speed because I want you to know, um, get an understanding of how fast that takes. And it probably will take about six times slower for you guys if you have rubbish internet like five megabit internet but it depends what you have um my internet is better than that my internet is capped to 37 megabits per second but apparently the speed test says it's 15 and that's completely wrong complete and utter bs okay complete and utter bs but the upload speed is so bad because i think it's good yeah so we've uploaded that to YouTube. So what you would do next is you would put a title like tutorial test. Um, we'll do episode one because that's what I normally do in my videos. I'm not uploading this, by the way, guys. That that would just be weird. Then I put a description with all my links to my Facebook page, my Twitter page, my Twitch channel, which I don't really stream, but I put it down anyway. My Steam name, my Discord server, everything that I have um links to. And the other thing I use is Photoshop to use thumbnails. Now this is not free. This is not free. Um, it is, I think it's something like sixteen pounds per month or one hundred and twenty-eight pounds straight on, um, straight forward or whatever you call it. Uh, but yeah, that that's that's how much it is roughly. It's very expensive. Um, so Photoshop, what I would use do is just bring in the video and uh, bring in the picture, the the you know on Euro Truck how I take like screenshots and farms them. I take F twelve screenshots and whatever. That's pretty much what I do, and then I'll, I'll go to the custom thumbnail, and I will put down the photo, which will be in pictures somewhere, and then I will go to, if, if you know here how it says, maximum file size is 2 megabytes, so what you do if, if there isn't enough, I have a, an, a website that I go to called imageoptimizer.com, and you just choose the file, and you select the photo, you optimize it, and you download it, and it'll be in your downloads folder, and you can put it straight up. So that's what I do to um, upload to YouTube. I think that's it. And the other things I do is I share it to the Facebook page. I share it to the Discord server. And the reason I've not got a public Facebook page is because I do not want people that I know knowing that I do YouTube.
but I do, I do, I do want people that I know doing YouTube. But I don't want to go to school saying, "Oh, you done this video, you done that video, you done this video, you done that video." It's it's not really ideal to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I, I really hope that you did. I really hope you got something out of it. I really hope that you got some of my OBS settings, a uh, render settings, my how I upload to YouTube. Oh yeah, one thing I never done is uh, one thing I never said. No, I don't want the weather. Thank you. No, stop it. Stop. No, I do not want the weather. And um, one thing I, I didn't do is I didn't show you what um what uh, what's the word I'm looking for. What's the word I'm looking for? The editing, that's it. I never showed you the edit. I never told you how I done editing. So what I do is, if a video is, at the start, it's got some of my desktop in it, which it used to done, and I just used to upload it straight away. But nowadays, I will cut it out, like cut the the front of the video out, and then at the end of the video, if it's still got some of that, I'll cut that out. And that's, that's pretty much what I do. And if I have to, I will do shaky videos at... If the videos are shaky, then I will re-upload it. Um, I do not fix it by YouTube, I just re-upload it. Because YouTube is probably weird. YouTube's really weird in a way. Now guys, if you don't know already, the ad, the ad thing, the reason I don't put monetization on is because I, I do not have, I'm not 18 yet, and I do not have, um, I don't need money. I've got enough money. Uh, Plus, I'm sure you guys know, some of you probably know, that the boycott um, a few months back, is it now? Or six months ago, something like that. YouTube released two two things called YouTube.com. So your normal YouTube channel, your normal YouTube thing, your normal everyday YouTube thing. And also, um, why am I getting weird video recommended? See, this is what I hate about YouTube. They give you recommendations that I do not know why they do this. Like, I mean, seriously, YouTube. Why why have I got Big Bang Theory on my recommended? Why have I got I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here in May? <laughs> it's so random. And the other thing I've got is YouTube.com slash gaming as well. When I get on the tip. So yeah, that's that's pretty much um the the thing about um what it is. Uh, can I pause that, please? No, I do not want to go to PewDiePie's website. Thank you very much. And um, but anyway, that that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Um, but th there's two new YouTube things, so the ad revenue gets put onto YouTube Gaming more than YouTube now. Just just if you didn't know. Um, so be aware of that. Anyway, guys, if if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Remember, leave your comments if you have any questions and comments. If you want to remain, recommend me some settings for OBS or um, Handbrake or anything like that. Um, and anyway guys, see you later.